and we've got a uh, three mile two furlong hunters chase here sunbeam talbot for john mary cassatt paul rhodes toulon ballad james shea georgia o'keefe paul rhodes Pyrus santha pontypool racing trooper c beck with deep reflection for t rogers neo Brunova, martin leadham harold bold ryan costello and completing the lineup is whenever dragoon for alex cherry and the tapes are up and the start lets them go and they very quickly approach that first fence and all of them navigated pretty safely although i don't think ryan costello will be too happy with that jump from harold bold at the at the last and it's already having to be niggled along after a poor jump at the first flight and it was only a small jump there but perhaps things happened all a little bit too quickly after the start i let them go but there's a long way to go here three mile two furlong race here for horses rated under a hundred and there was a couple of poor jumps there. The main mistake there was from Sunbeam Talbot and the bright blue silks and the yellow hat went down on its nose, number one there. Um, but just regaining its composure there for John Morgan and carrying on. The jockey seems to have resettled that horse. But they've jumped three flights and there's been some sketchy jumping so far and slow in the air was Renever Dragoon there in second place. And Neo Branova for my fellow commentator Martin Leadham is setting this early pace and has put in a good few jumps so far as they quickly come to the next flight all over that safely and a pretty good round of jumping there but they've got about another 19 fences left to jump here so the jumping will be tested and there's a long way to travel here under these gloomy skies at Lark Hill the rain I wouldn't say it's pouring down but there's definitely the ground's just going to be getting a little bit softer than good as, as uh, the day goes on here with this rain steadily falling at Lark Hill lovely setting there in the background as some of them put in a pretty poor jump again i think in the old green silks their deep reflection wasn't particularly fluent there that's a lovely nice race course here at lark hill as they come to the next fence all of them over safely although a, another pretty bad mistake from Solbeam talbot and that's relegated that one towards the rear of the field so as they swing right-handed there pretty tight bend it's still in the over and over setting this early lead although it's a modest pace being set uh, to the second horse whenever dragoon and the camera angle there didn't really give me a good a good view as they jumped that flight but all of them jumped it pretty well and the same there you see in that head-on shot of them all jumping that fence and the main thing is they're all still intact as we see when neo Branova kicking on in the lead still has a few lengths to whenever dragoon some fancy camera angles here cinematography and neo Branova in the lead I would like it to just focus on the fences as they jump so I can see which one's put in a good leap and not a particularly good one there for Paul, one of Paul Rhodes' horses, uh, which is now Georgia O'Keefe. It's relegated that one towards the rear of the field and it's joined Trooper at the, uh, as being the back marker. And we've got 15 furlongs left to travel here, so just inside two miles left to go. It's Neo Branover in the lead from the black horse, Whenever Dragoon, as they come to that next flight really poor jump from deep reflection that's the second mistake that one's made in the race so far but they're all still standing to quote the great elton john and neo branova still in the lead from whenever dragoon on the outside it's a couple of lengths back to toulon ballad and then uh, it's a it's one of paul rhodes's horse mary cassatt which has just ticked along and gone unnoticed in the race so far but traveling powerfully on the outside of sunbeam talbot who has been noticed but probably for the wrong reasons as they come over then that next flight and again sunbeam talbot went high and it didn't jump that one particularly quickly and neo Branova has put in a really good round of jumping at the front so far Ooh, and i avoided the commentator's curse there but one that i have picked on for the poor jumping sunbeam talbot has finally made one mistake too many and that's gone so we've lost one runner and there's nine left in this race as they come over the next flight and all of them have jumped that one okay but it's still neo Branova that's setting the pace and the one that they'll all need to catch whenever dragoon is closest in second and a really good jump there's allowed that one to close the gap a little bit toulon ballad and mary cassa traveling beautifully in third and fourth place there racing alongside each other harold bold who started off the race Pooley is now in fifth place and a never nearer fifth place on the inside of pyrus santha trooper and georgia o'keefe have um, now made some progress they've passed deep reflection relegated that one to be the back marker but they're still got about 15 or 20 lengths uh, to make up 
when, uh, if and when they catch this leader, Neo Branova, from a fellow commentator, Martin Leedham. I still haven't called a winner home for him. Could this be the race? He got quite high in the air at that one, but still has the lead over whenever, whenever Dragoon. But that one's now starting to move up to go alongside it. So they're going to be the joint leaders as we go inside the final mile here at Lark Hill. Toulon Ballard back in third, just ahead of Mary Cassatt. Paul Rhodes, a master flat trainer. But he's got quite a big stable here at Jumps Runners. And is he going to win this Hunter's Chase with one of his two? The race is about to unfold. We've got six flights left to go and Neo Branova is no longer the leader. That place is now being held by Whenever Dragoon. But Neo Branova not quite yet under massive pressure. And the jockey doesn't seem too fussed about being joined now up front by Whenever Dragoon. As they come towards the next flight. Oh! Well, Neo Branova took off far too early, went down on its nose. And that's allowed Whenever Dragoon to open up a big lead. Neo Branova's trying to get back into it and trying to settle. But look at this on the outside. It's Mary Cassatt as they come to the next flight. The front four all jumped it pretty well. There was another poor jump towards the rear of the field from Harold Bold. I think the winner might come from this first four. It's Whenever Dragoon, Mary Cassatt, Toulon Ballad. Neo Branova's run its race. I think Troopers now moving ever closer. Oh, have I written off Neo Branova too soon? Because it's starting to stay on again. But as we approach the three furlong pole and the next fence, it's Whenever Dragoon in the lead from Mary Cassatt. Neil Branova trying to get going again on the rail. That one in uh, Trooper on the far outside there, split by Tulum Ballad, which is now moving forward into second and passing the Paul Rhodes horse. As they come to that fence, Whenever Dragoon got a bit close, but corrected itself and didn't jump it too badly. But it's been joined by Tulum Ballad. As they start turning right handed and coming towards the final furlong and a half, your new leader is Tulum Ballad. As they have one left to jump. Jump Toulon Ballad in the lead from Whenever Dragoon. It's the other Paul Rhodes horse, Georgia O'Keefe, that's going to try and get into it in the final furlong. But Toulon Ballad, as they come towards the last, just needs to steady itself, which it does. Holding off Whenever Dragoon as they come towards the line and pulling away is Toulon Ballad. Wins the three mile two Hunters Chase. In second place was Georgia O'Keefe, which really stayed on well for Paul Rhodes. We lost Deep Reflection, who pulled up later on in the race, but was never in contention. And that race has been won pretty cosily in the end by Toulon Ballard, the 11-4 favourite. Just getting up there for second was Georgia O'Keefe. Good run for Paul Rhodes. And in third, Whenever Dragoon, fourth Trooper, and fifth was Pyrus Santha for Pontypool Racing.